Hello beautiful soul, welcome to Infinite Manifestations. Energy vampires are those who deliberately drain your emotional energy. They thrive on your desire to listen and care for them, exhausting and overwhelming you. Energy vampires may appear anywhere and at any time. They might be your partner or your greatest friend. They might be your coworker or your neighbor. Learning how to recognize and respond to toxic conduct might help you conserve energy and protect yourself from a lot of mental, physical and emotional pain or instability. Specifically as an empath you will understand the differences between mental, physical and emotional instability through energy vampires. Do you recall learning in high school physics class that energy cannot be generated or destroyed, but can only be exchanged? Consider energy vampires to be those that steal more energy from you rather than sharing or giving some back. Do you have someone in your life that makes you feel fatigued, unsupported, drained of resources, and perhaps even a bit melancholy after spending time with them? You may be dealing with an energy vampire if you have a relationship that just takes, takes and takes without giving you anything in return. Energy vampires are those that prey on extremely sensitive, empathic, and cheerful people, feeding off their kindness and compassion until they run out of energy. However, energy vampires may just be unaware of their energy zapping habits, and if made aware of them, they may change how their activities influence others. Being around them may make you feel anxious, agitated, uneasy, and even doubtful of your own capabilities. There are three common energy vampires, the melodramatic, the egomaniac, and the dependent. The first energy vampire does not understand personal limits. They are unaware of what is and is not suitable to disclose at work. They don't grasp the context of your relationship. For example, you're not interested in very intimate information or about a shared coworker's culinary preferences. They take up an inordinate amount of your time conversing and appear to believe you are closer friends than you believe or want to be. The melodramatic energy vampire is constantly on the lookout for rejection, to the point where they can't seem to detach and go on when necessary. Whether you like it or not, you get dragged in and must escape the scenario. The second energy vampire believes they are entitled to your attention since their objective takes precedence above all else. They boast about their achievements, omit names, and minimize the work of others. If you stand out to refute their point, they may accuse you of being too sensitive or emotional. The third energy vampire needs constant comprehensive training and reinforcement. He or she does not want to disappoint you and does not want to make any decisions that might compromise the success of your team or a project. Regrettably, this tendency results in taut helplessness. While well-intentioned, this dependent energy vampire may continually ask questions or be afraid of acting alone. As a result, they reduce productivity and, as a result, your bandwidth. Now listen carefully. I will give you a handful of spiritual tools, tips and tricks on how to protect yourself from energy vampires. You can use them all or just those that resonate with you. However, I will share some uncommon perspectives. If you are open-minded keep watching till the end. Let's talk about money. Try to earn clean money. What do I mean? Money can be regarded as a transfer of energy among people, and often people's energy signature gets attached to money as they spend it. That energetic residue could include happiness if the money is happily spent, stress if the money is stressfully spent, or many other possible vibes or emotions. When you get money from other people in whatever manner, the money may be accompanied by an energy signature from the person or entity who delivered it to you. That energy might be neutral, positive, or negative in charge. Some of that leftover energy signature may touch you personally when you claim ownership of the money, perhaps putting you off balance emotionally or physically. For instance, stolen money already has bad karma on it. Buying food with stolen money will make you sick because the energy will flow through your food into your body. If you want to learn how to clean your money energetically, give this video a thumbs up or comment below. One easy way to clean your money energetically is through visualization. It just takes a couple of seconds. Close your eyes and imagine your money. Tune into what it feels like. Then imagine energetically washing your money's energy by creating any kind of visualization that feels appropriate to you. Picture a waterfall or just white light going through your money and cleaning it. Next, avoid information overload. One of our biggest issues is access to too much information. Don't get me wrong. I love knowledge, hidden knowledge and different perspectives. So much more is now available through social media and the internet, good and bad stuff. But if you want to protect yourself from energy vampires, you have to protect your brain and your consumption of information. Because over-information will lead to overthinking which will lead to low frequency and low energy, which might lead to depression. It's not only about the news and mainstream media or fake social media, it's literally everything like music, books, movies, negative spoken words like gossip. Choose your knowledge and information wisely because everything seeks into your subconscious mind. If you can, clean and detox your brain. 
Protect yourself and stop participating in gossip. This will not only benefit yourself, it will protect your energy and those around you. Gossip is one of our most widely shared, and, often, most unconscious, addictions. People rarely consider themselves gossip addicts, even when they're filling the empty spaces in conversation with tales about mutual acquaintances. Negative gossip leaves an especially nasty aftertaste, whether you speak it or hear it. That aftertaste is the inner karmic effect of gossip, and it's a useful indication that your words or tone have done some damage to the delicate fabric of your own consciousness. Don't think that you don't participate because you are just listening. If you are nodding you are already participating. Nodding is the universal non-verbal communication, which actually means move forward or go on. It encourages your opposite to move on. Again, refuse listening to gossip. Protect yourself and those around you. It will create a better environment. While listening and just nodding you will create bad karma for yourself. Avoid this at all costs. Stop becoming an instrument in this negative atmosphere. Interrupt the person and say something like, Let's talk about something else. If needed leave the person and relationship with no guilt. If you want to protect yourself from energy vampires on a spiritual level, imagine a white light around your body, home or even town. It will take some practice, but after a while you will do it automatically. The more I protect myself from this negative energy, the wider my energy field. And the wider my energy field, the higher will be my frequency. The higher my frequency, the faster I can manifest positive things and will have a positive impact for myself, my surroundings and finally the world. Meditate for 30 minutes about your day. Reaffirm in the morning meditation about your day. I am a peaceful soul. And then fall asleep at night by constantly thinking, I am a peaceful soul. You can even bless your food with your positive energy. By practicing this you will create a miracle in your life and in the lives of others. Burning sage is another well-known method for cleaning and protecting yourself from energy vampires. Sage has a long history of use in Egyptian, Roman, and Greek medicine, as well as in Native American healing traditions. Dried sage is burned as a way to heal, protect, increase wisdom, and boost defense against disease. Burning sage is seen as a cost-effective way to help purify the air. This is because sage is thought to have antimicrobial properties that help kill bacteria, viruses, and fungi. In a spiritual manner it will clean and protect you from low frequencies and energies. Another way to protect yourself from energy vampires are crystals. Clearing negative energy from your home regularly is a great way to reset and refresh your mood. One of my favorite ways to clear negative energy is by harnessing the power of crystals. If we let negative energy stay stagnant for too long in our home, it can leave us feeling tired, stressed and anxious. Being surrounded by negative energy could even impact your sleep and keep your home from feeling safe and balanced. Certain crystals are renowned for their ability to absorb and clear negative energy from our surrounding environment. Selenite is the most popular crystal when it comes to clearing negative energy. This beautiful pearly white stone is perfect for rooms where you spend lots of time, such as your bedroom and living spaces. It's recommended to place selenite in the corners of your room and windowsills to keep negative energy at bay. Selenite is also self-charging, so you don't need to worry about cleansing and recharging this crystal. Talking about our homes, there are a lot of things you can do to protect yourself from energy vampires. Cleaning and decluttering your home is always one of my favorite recommendations. While cleaning and decluttering my home, I'm always using affirmations and calming music in the background, nice fragrances and a wide open window in the beginning. Another simple energy blocking technique is visualization. Visualization is not only beneficial for manifestation it's also an amazing tool to protect yourself. For example you can take an energetic shower, take a real shower and imagine golden or white light entering all your chakras and cleans each chakra. All lower energies and frequencies will be released. Simultaneously use a breathing technique, inhale positive energy, exhale negative energy. Also, if you have regular headaches because of low or negative energy, try to shower with pink Himalayan salt. I'm using it regularly and my headaches are gone. Be open to receive and I hope to see you in my future. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.